Hey guys, I'm Alexandra, a decor expert. Welcome to my series, Make My Space Work, where I am helping entrepreneurs who are in desperate need of a change. These are people who have a mile long to-do list, so the last thing on their mind is making sure that their workspaces are productive, organized, and stylish. Today I'm helping Gigi who has the cutest lingerie store and her back room needs some serious organization. It's lacking personality, style, it's cluttered. And since it's a new year, I really wanna help give her a fresh start in this space. And I have $550 to make this happen. Gigi's. Hey, I'm Gigi. I am the owner of Gigi's House of Frills, a vintage and vintage style lingerie store. I've loved lingerie since I was a little girl. I remember getting lost in a rack of slips at the department store. It's been a long time love and it only grew stronger over time. Oh yeah, so my back room is a bit of a disaster, I can't lie. Uh, it's very messy, it's unorganized, it's even a bit of a hazard. For the new year, I'd really like to get more organized. I would really like to have a steady employee in the next year, and although my messes make sense to me, I don't think they would make sense to anybody else. I'm really excited to have my vintage sewing machine set up, so please come help me make my space work, Alexandra. When I originally walked into this space, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little overwhelmed. Gigi has absolutely nowhere to walk. You can't even get to the back of the room but I also get it. She's running an entire business and the last thing she wants to do is spend an evening or a weekend organizing this space. What I love doing in the new year or any new season is tackling all those things that seemed too daunting to take on before. It's like this is an opportunity to have a fresh start, clean slate, and so I really hope that this back room makeover for Gigi makes her feel like the next year is gonna be her best one yet. Okay, so. It is prep day and Gigi has cleared out this entire back room. It's so empty, there's nothing in here anymore. And we are gonna get prepping this space. Now the first thing Chico and I are doing is painting this entire room pink. <laughs> which at first I was a little bit nervous about, but Gigi loves peach, she loves pink, she just loves color, so I was really excited to have fun with this. Okay, so while Chico gets started on the walls, I am actually going to start painting this desk. Now, Gigi had this very mid-century modern vintage desk that she wanted to bring into this space. She had it at home. It's really cute, though it's in a little bit of a rough shape, so I'm just gonna give it um, a fresh coat of paint. I'm going for this beautiful peach color. I love it so much and I think it's gonna work really well with the pink walls. For these kinds of projects, especially if you have a laminate surface that you're painting over, you're gonna wanna use either a primer or a chalk paint so it sticks really well to that laminate. But since this is just wood, I'm just using regular paint. So I've done the first coat of paint on the desk. I need to go vintage shopping because I need to find some accessories to finish off this space. I still need some shelves up here. I need some art. Okay, see you later. Gigi wanted to use recycled and thrifted furniture as much as we could. These are my dream dining chairs. They're so I love vintage shopping, so I was really excited for this challenge, and this was like a tight turnaround. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, I love this print. It's so whimsical and fun, and it's on sale. Okay, back from vintage shopping. <laughs> Look at this room. I love this color so much, and the desk has dried nicely. That's a wrap on prep day. I'm heading out. See you guys bright and early tomorrow for reveal day. So we're back, it's reveal day, and the room has been painted, it looks so good. Whenever Gigi walks into this back room, I want it to make her feel really happy. So I feel like the pink paint does this perfectly. The rolling racks that Gigi had were great, but they were taking up a lot of space. 
So the next thing that I'm doing is taking all of those clothes that were quite literally taking up this entire room and putting them on the wall on a custom clothing rack made from copper piping from the hardware store. The first step is to measure out how much pipe you'll need. If you need to cut the pipe, you'll wanna use a pipe cutter. You can get this from the hardware store or you can also use a hacksaw. So this is our supporting pipe. It's going to keep this hanging rack super sturdy and you wanna make sure it's at least one foot off the wall. Um, that's gonna give adequate space for your hangers and your clothing. And I'm gonna be drilling this into the floor and then connecting all of the other pipes above. Use wall space if you have a lot of things to store. This is a really good tip if you're working with a small space. It doesn't have to be a closet. It can be a living room, bathroom, bedroom. It's a really easy project that you guys can tackle at home and it's relatively inexpensive, especially if you want something that's custom to your space. Gigi will also have the option to store stuff underneath and with rolling racks, you don't get that. The copper piping is up. It looks even better than I pictured it. And now I'm moving on to this side of the wall and hanging some open shelves. And I found this hutch as a part of a bedroom set. Gigi asked for three colors in this space, green, pink, and peach. So I was actually thrilled when I found this, but I think this is so perfect over this sink and Gigi can have even more storage. So I'm just drilling a hole in both sides of the hutch and feeding through a copper pipe. This piece of copper just kind of ties the whole space together and is also gonna be functional. Next up, I'm gonna be bringing in a dresser and this is where I'm gonna be putting all of Gigi's delicate items that she needs stored away in a safe place. I feel like when we think about organizing, a lot of the time we think about those plastic storage bins, but if you go for something that belongs, say in a bedroom or a living room, suddenly you have storage that is not only functional, but really beautiful. So this matches perfectly back to the hutch. It came from the same set. This is such a great perk when you're vintage shopping because a lot of the time people are selling things in sets. So you're not paying a lot, but you're getting kind of more than you bargained for, which is great. The first thing I noticed when I walked into this space was that the, the curtain. <laughs> It was not thoughtfully hung up. It was kind of just like thrown. And I knew that this had to go. That bed sheet was just making this whole space feel really dark. And it's sometimes like the littlest things that end up making such a big decorative impact. Again, in a small space, you want as much light as you can get, especially natural light. So I wanted to go for something that was actually going to brighten the space up. Gigi has these awful fluorescent office lights in the ceiling. So I was so happy to find this photo studio light at the back of this room. It fits in with this like retro vibe. It's quirky and it is also functional. The next step is to bring all of Gigi's clothing back in. Taking it out of those clear boxes, hanging stuff on hangers, and I am so excited to get all of this stuff on these rails. These are beautiful items, and I feel like in a room like this, having things hung up on the wall adds to the whole vibe of the space. It's like you know what you have, things aren't getting lost. You're also surrounded by all the things you love. So Gigi already had this clothing rail that actually matches the pipe theme we have going on in here. And this is gonna be for all of her off-season items. So this is all gonna live on this side of the walls, which means that I have to move that light that I placed originally, I have to move around. But this is what happens, guys, when you organize. You have to move things around and try a few ways out. All of the clothes are in, that was a struggle, but now we have all this open space. And I'm actually gonna fill this open space with a desk for Gigi's prized possession, her sewing machine. I'm just changing up the knobs on this desk. And this is one of my most favorite budget-friendly hacks. Knobs are really inexpensive. I got a pack of six of these for $7. So this is the final piece that we scored in this bedroom set. It looks so cute with this peach desk. Now it's time to bring in the finishing piece that's gonna tie this whole room together. And it's kind of like one of the main reasons that Gigi wanted a room refresh in the very beginning, Gigi's antique sewing machine. This not only looks really beautiful here, but she still sees it whenever she walks in. Um, so it motivates her to use it a little bit more in the new year. When you change your space, when you refresh it, when you declutter, kind of opens up all these 
other opportunities. So now Gigi has a place to sew. She gets to walk into this room every day and be so inspired by all the color and makes her life feel a little bit easier. So it is now time to reveal the space to Gigi and see what she thinks. But actually, before that, let's check in with the final budget counter. Guys, how much did I spend? $528.90. Under 550. It's like kind of impressive considering I had to make over this entire space. But really it comes down to what Gigi thinks. So let's bring her in. <laughs> um yeah, cover them and close them. Cover them and close and them. And do not open until I count down and tell you to, okay? okay. So I'm gonna lead you now in. Now I feel nervous. Oh. <laughs> I didn't before. Okay, come on in. Okay. Oh my god, it feels so bright. Like really I feel like the light. I want you to picture what your space looked like before. Yes. There was no room at all. No. <laughs> there was stuff everywhere. Yes. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks so beautiful! Do you think so? Yeah, it feels like a studio. Like I could have people back here and they wouldn't be like, whoa, GG! <laughs> I I'm love so it. Glad. Thank I'm you so, so much. Glad you're Thank welcome. you. I love the copper. Yeah. So this is a built-in. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. Correct. <laughs> and then that's all your off-season stuff. This is your desk. It's so cute. Painted peach. <laughs> I love it. And then back in the dresser is even more storage. So all that stuff that you had loose yes. in those clear bins is back there. That's amazing. And then all of your smaller items were up there as well. And then this is your sale rack, so, so you have cute. like easy access to it. That's amazing. Oh, and I replaced the um, the bed sheet. It wasn't a bed sheet actually. That was that was an actual vintage curtain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it truly was. But no, that looks beautiful, and I I love that you hung my wire bust up there because so I never great. use her, and it's such a cool piece. And your sewing machine <laughs> looks so beautiful back there. It really does. My designer, who sometimes uh, covers for me, is going to be so thrilled. Good. She's gonna lose her mind. She's gonna be able to find everything. Yes. I love okay. this extra bar too. Like Yeah, to hang a towel yeah. or whatever you want up there. Yeah. Yeah, your dirty knickers after you wash them. There you go. Just dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that Gigi loves the space. I really hope that she stays organized throughout the new year. Which brings me to my question that I wanna ask you guys. Let me know in the comments below what your new year's resolution is. Are you like me and do things like seasonally, do a big space transformation, or do you make dedicated resolutions that you keep throughout the year? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have an office space that isn't working for you and needs my help, Contact us using the info in the description box. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any new videos. Bye. I'm guessing you can see the cat. Okay. No one's gonna need to take her. Oh, I'm gonna, you know who. Very sleepy.